I'm in my local supermarket and I'm wondering about this bag of pinto beans and how well they'll grow in my garden. So join me today and I'll try to answer that question. Can you grow supermarket pinto beans? Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and the idea of buying something like pinto beans at the store and then planting the seeds is nothing new, but it's not something that I've done a lot of. I like to know the varieties that I'm growing, and so when I buy a bag of generic pinto beans, I really don't know much about the bean. When I grow other beans, like this Kentucky Wonder Pole bean, I know what I can expect. Or this Royal Burgundy Bush Bean, I know what I'm going to get. When it comes to pinto beans, there are a couple different types, both the pole bean type and the bush type. So I really didn't know what to expect, and I wasn't even sure if I was going to get germination on these seeds. To aid germination, I went ahead and poured a bunch of the seeds into a jar filled with water and let them sit overnight. The water will help reconstitute the dried seed. And after draining the seeds, I was surprised that a number of them looked like they were suitable for planting. There were quite a few that were split or showed obvious damage because a company that's processing seeds for eating will have less care to keep the seeds whole than a company that's going to be selling you the seeds to plant in your garden. But I was able to find 100 seeds to put in the ground, and that barely put a dent into this bag. There's still a lot of seeds left. Unsure as to whether I had a bush bean type of plant or a pole bean type of plant, I decided to put the seeds about six inches apart from each other. And so I laid the 100 seeds out on the ground, and then I began pushing them into the soil. Most beans should be sown about an inch deep, so that's what I did with these pinto beans. Pinto beans are a subtropical plant that need a lot of sun. At least six hours, but more is better. So I put them in this bed because I have the sun unobstructed to all the plants in this bed. They can take at least 90 days to reach the point that they're ready to harvest for the seeds. And I have a pretty short season, so I was a little concerned by that because the soil temperature at planting is very important. The soil temperature should be at least 60 degrees. So I was monitoring that very closely to make sure that the soil was warm enough when I put the seeds into the ground. So with the soil warm enough and with the full sun, they actually started growing. I've actually been surprised by the germination rates of these pinto bean seeds. It's been about 40% of what I planted germinated and began growing. Taking care of the plants was really no different than any other plant in my garden, specifically any other bean plant in the garden. I treated them exactly the same. I mulched the soil, I watered regularly to make sure that the soil moisture was consistently moist, and the plants did pretty good, up to the point and I started looking closer and closer to harvest time. Almost three months after planting, the beans are still looking pretty good. And they're starting to change color as they dry and set seed. They're changing from the green pods to yellow pods. And pretty soon, all of these pods will be dry, and I'll be able to harvest my pinto beans. It's been 100 days since I first sowed my pinto bean seeds, and now it's time to actually harvest the seed pods. The pods are completely dried on the plants, and it's pretty consistent between all the plants, which is why 
today's a good day to harvest because it looks like just about everything has dried and we can see what's inside these pods. Harvesting the pods is pretty simple. A couple of things you can do is just break them individually off a plant or for a little bit faster method, take some hand pruners and cut them off in groups. Or you can just cut the whole dried plant and then just pull the pods into a bowl. I'm planning on doing most of the work inside, but you can kill two birds with one stone and just pop open the pods, let the seeds fall out, and then drop the empty shell on the ground as extra mulch or a little bit of extra organic matter that can be worked into the soil at the end of the season. All depends how fast you want to work and whether you want to do your work outside or indoors. Whether you do it outside or inside, allowing the pods to dry on the plant makes for easy harvest. You just pinch them together, the two halves fall apart, and the seeds just fall. I have a few plants where the seeds are not quite ready yet. And so if it's not fully mature, it's not as easy to harvest. The seeds look the same, and they're probably good, but they'll stick to the side of the pod. It makes for a harder harvest, and I'm just not assured that these are fully viable seeds. I have about half a dozen plants that I'm going to allow to dry a little bit more before I harvest but this looks to be a substantial amount of seeds. I'm gonna go inside and finish it up. The biggest concern for me when deciding to put the seeds from just a generic bag of pinto beans from the supermarket into my garden is that I didn't know if the parent plant of the original beans was a hybrid. Because if that plant was a hybrid, there's no guaranteeing that these seeds are going to be viable or that these seeds would even grow into a pinto bean plant. But apparently they will. Now let's go ahead and find out the results of our labors. I want to go ahead and measure and see how successful this was. The original bag weighed 456 grams and there are 317 grams remaining. So that means I only used about 136 grams of seed. That's just over four ounces, which means we used a little more than 25% of this bag to grow all of these beans. Now let's go ahead and find out how much these beans weigh. There are 327 grams of seeds that I harvested today. That's about 12 ounces of these dried beans. Now, I still have about half a dozen more plants to harvest, which means I'll have some more beans to weigh. I think the expectation should be that my final weight is going to be about three times what I started with. So I should be able to turn this one pound bag of pinto beans into three pounds of beans. Remember, when I first started and I poured the beans into that jar of water, quite a few of them were cracked and broken and I couldn't plant them. And because I didn't count all the seeds that I poured in, I just took 100 out of that batch and I actually toss the rest into my compost pile. So it's conceivable that I could have gotten even more than three times the starting weight. I think it's also important to point out that a lot of the seeds that came in the bag were broken and unplantable, whereas these seeds 
are all whole and they look pretty good. They're in great shape. I should be able to plant these seeds again next year and I would go as far as to say get better germination and be able to use more of these seeds. So can you take a bag of pinto beans from the supermarket and put them in your garden? Absolutely. And I think this is the beginning of years and years and years of beans in the future. As long as I save enough to plant and keep the process going. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.